Hello and welcome to GBR Life Vlog. I'm Caitlin and this week we're discussing Hootsuite. Before I get into the social media management tool, I first wanted to mention, if you're interested in taking the guesswork out of life by finding out about reviews and parenting hacks, you've come to the right place. On GBR Life, I talk about those very subjects here on my blog with a post every Sunday night. But there's so much more to GBR Life, aka good, bad, real life, with a blog, podcast, and this vlog, you'll never run out of content. There's also an awesome clothing line to keep you comfy and stylish called Mama Koala. And if you want to check out any of this, links are below in the description box. Ready for Hootsuite? Right after my intro. Let's get into it. Now that you know who I am and what GBR Life is all about, let's discuss what Hootsuite is all about. I will be showing you inside of Hootsuite later on in this video, so stay tuned for the fun ahead. And be sure to keep watching in order to figure out if Hootsuite is right for you. Hootsuite is one of the original social media management tools, and it was created a long time ago. But it's still a great option, and it doesn't come cheap. But before I discuss pricing, let me explain what Hootsuite can do. With the options of creating a post, uh, viewing your streams, advertisements, and analytics, Hootsuite has the basics that really matter. Under streams, you're able to view all of your contents in a stream-like format. The view itself will make you feel like you're looking at a linear content uh, or like a Ferris wheel with that linear content, able to be seen in a comfortable, compact, or standard view. This is why you can comment directly on each account or reply back to your audience as well as getting a chance to boost your post directly in this format. And did I mention you can also see what hashtags are trending on Twitter? Yep, there is an option for that too. It's like the dashboard of a multitasker's dream because you can see it all right in front of you in an organized fashion. So you can quickly do what you need to do and complete the tasks on your checklist. And you can customize all of this by creating your own boards or just moving your feeds into the most comfortable view for you. But in creating new boards, you can also discover content and spy on your competitors' trends, or just create a personalized feed for your YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest accounts. Next up, you can head over to the publisher and schedule your post based on a monthly view or a weekly view. And you can filter by social accounts, post status, or time frame. And if you hate looking at planners, because some of you do, just go into the content view instead so you can see what you have a schedule, that you have already scheduled, uh, or what requires approval, expired approvals, or something you may have already rejected. And of course, there is your draft post in there too, for what you may be currently working on. Hey, creating the post yourself, that's okay too. You can use their RSS feed option and they will auto create posts for you or create a fun post using some of their integration app options like Adobe Creative Cloud. And speaking of all that work you are doing a lot less of because you decided to automate your life, you can automate your promoted posts. Just click advertise and work with Facebook and LinkedIn to get your promotions on. Since you have more time on your hands now, using the analytics tool will get you to the next level because it has the research options and reporting tools you need to figure out what is working best for your brand. Inside of analytics, you will get to look at both your brand as a whole and your posts on an individual basis. And the best part is you don't have to stick to just what Hootsuite has to offer. You can also create your own reports. Does it all sound great? 
Well, it is, but it doesn't come without a price tag. So let's talk, dun dun dun, price. I should first mention there's a free option, and that's what I use. On the free option, you get three accounts total with limitations on everything else, including how often you can post and no analytics, which is the biggest reason to consider Hootsuite. So if you do like the analytics and everything else I mentioned, here is the paid plans. They start with the professional option at $49 a month when you are paying yearly or $75 a month, where you can have one user, 10 social media accounts, scheduling is unlimited, post and multi-post scheduling, uh, an inbox, and a guide of when the best time to publish is, including reporting analytics without customizing and access to content apps. It's pretty much everything you will need for a single user and a small business. Speaking of a business who probably has employees, up next is the team option for $149 a month when paying a yearly option or $189 a month. You can get three users, 20 social accounts, and everything else you get from the professional plan. But here in the professional plan, you also get to manage your team across with access with roles and permissions, along with getting to assign posts to those team members. But wait, you also get custom branded URL options and to suspend a scheduled post, in addition to getting those customizable reports under analytics. And those team members don't have to learn from you how to use the tool. Hootsuite offers to train them with the certification options so that they're experts right when they start. Do you want more? You can have more. With the next option, business, for $739 a month, this option is for the larger businesses out there, and that price is yet again the yearly payment discount of $739 a month. And the options are everything. Yes, everything Hootsuite has to offer. You get it, because you're clearly paying for it. You get everything I mentioned from professional and team, but here you get two different options to utilize. You can get their business standard plan or enterprise. So if you're a mid-size to large business, this is for you. So what's all the extra fun stuff? All analytics, campaign planning, planning and reporting, unlimited ad, campaign spending, team productivity report, social listening, which allows you to find out what people are saying about your brand. Uh, also automated team assignments, message tagging, single sign-on, quarterly business reviews, and all apps are free including product training. Like I said, everything. Hootsuite can do a ton, but I, I mean, it's not for everyone with all of their features, unless you pay more. The more you pay, the more you get. Now let's take a look inside so you can see for yourself. Here we are inside of Hootsuite. Now, the first thing you're going to see is your accounts in a stream format and it depending on how many accounts you have already set up or want to set up you have every single one of them right in your face now the first thing you can do is add a stream or add a social media account if I select add account you can see all those options I mentioned right here but if I go backwards and say I want to add a stream you can see there's a few more options to choose from on how you would like to add that stream. So you see select a stream to add to the current board. You can add it just seeing your homepage, your mentions, tweets, your likes, your retweets, anything that's scheduled, and even see who is new to following you. But you can also do searches, keywords, and lists. And that is off of your front page. And the other great option on your front page is you can change that view, as I mentioned, with either being compact, standard, or comfortable. Isn't that all fun and dandy? And of course, you can refresh. You do not have to look at stagnant information. You can look at the latest and greatest. And you see that I just refreshed right there. Now, going over to the side, you can upgrade your plan, create a post, go into, again, your streams, that publisher, the advertisement, or those analytics. Now, I'm on the free plan. So if I select analytics, 
I can't really show you much about analytics, but for anybody who's interested in the analytics, you can just go ahead and look at the wonderful video that Hootsuite already has there for you to discuss it even more. But you can also try it for 30 days. You would have to actually go into actually subscribing into one of these plans, but these plans do have an option for you to do it for 30 days to see if it is something that you actually want to use, including being able to use these analytics. So they do have the opportunity for people to see if they like it and try it before they buy it. Okay, now let's go over to advertise. Under the advertise tab, you can see that you have the options to advertise with Facebook or LinkedIn. And basically it is the very same tools that you would be using for, with your Facebook business suite or your LinkedIn, but in this case, it is all under the Hootsuite uh, book cover. So you're basically inside of Hootsuite getting to do it all. So that allows for you to not have to do as much in other places. You can come directly here and you can see that you can get started with your ad accounts and boost those posts. When I go over to Publisher, the first thing you're going to see is a calendar. Yes, the calendar that maybe fun for some and maybe not at all. But what's great about it is you can also decide if you want to look at everything all together, just one account. You can add your social accounts. You can also see what type of post that is on this calendar. If it was a draft, failed, scheduled, published, or disconnected, which is always important to know if something has disconnected. And you can see it in a week or month view. And that's nice on the eyes, so you can see everything all at once. And like I said, you can continue these filters and select more than one thing at a time. Now, you don't have to look at it in this planner format. You can look it at look at all of this in the scheduled posts. So in this section, you would actually be able to see all of your posts and it is in a nice clean format. Like you can see here under drafts, I have a draft from over a year ago just sitting here and it's sitting here because I haven't done anything with it and they're not going to delete it for you. So old things will stay, but new things will also be get posted if you decide to post them. So you can see it's very clean, very easy to understand, very easy to use, but it does cost a lot of money in order to use the more fun tools. Now, I did mention that you can do the Twitter hashtag and what's trending. So let's go back over to streams so you can see that. Right here under streams, if you see there is that little arrow and really you can see that that arrow is in a few places if you select on the side. Anytime you see that arrow, arrow, go ahead and select that arrow and then you'll be able to see what else they have the opportunity to provide you. Like for example here, you can create a new board and I'm gonna go ahead and select that so you can just see that you can do different types of boards. Uh, monitor your content, discover your content, or your personalized, personalized feeds. Or you can do a Twitter quick search, like I was trying to bring you over here for, and see what is currently trending. So that gives you just a little bit of extra help in some research if you're going to create a new post. And speaking of creating a post, let's go and create that post. So over here, if I select create post, it's pretty easy to see for your eyes. It's not anything complicated. And I always say that because not everything is user friendly, but Hootsuite is user friendly. If you were to select on which type of profile that you want to look at, you'll see that the profiles, I did not have one, the Facebook, uh, you'll see that the profiles will come up actually as tabs. So if you want to add a media file, you can just select and add a media file. I'll just go ahead and go for what I posted yesterday. This happens to be a video about Mama Koala and telling people have you seen the latest? So you can see I'm selected under the Twitter and that this is my, I guess this is just the photo, this is not the video. And you can see there, I can go ahead and type in, check out Mama 
koala. And then you'll see that actually come up right there. And of course, if you did your research on your hashtags, you can just go ahead and add that right there. And now you also see that there's an open media library. So you can save some of these photos and things and then just go and grab it from your library. Or you can browse your media by selecting this as well. And you can decide where you want this stuff to go. Uh, right here it says your Facebook image will go to, and you can select on timeline photos. And the best part is location, because location is actually a very good way to help people find you uh, and it to help the algorithm push you out there as well. So always be sure to add your location to your posts. Okay, and then you, if I go over to Instagram, you'll see very similar things as well. Um, it basically will always look the same, but if you want to make it just the same exact across all of your accounts, you go to initial content and then you just go ahead and type in what you're looking for. But you'll see that under initial content, I have nothing, even though I wrote on the Twitter side, check out Mama Koala. So what this is showing you is you have the option of doing it as uh, a total, all of your uh, accounts will get the exact same um, information, uh, the description that you're going to be adding, or you're going to put it as an individual account, uh, individual description per, I can't talk today, per account. So the option is yours. And now that's basically everything that you really need to see inside of Hootsuite. Let's go ahead and uh, continue this discussion on the other side. And maybe just maybe my talking skills will get a lot better as we get there. Okay, so let's go to the other side. Was that all you could want and more? Are you ignoring the price tag and just going along with what you saw? Hootsuite is the OG and it's still worth the cost for some. Although admittedly, they do have much more competition now and that competition may be a better fit for the small business. On the other hand, they do have a free limited plan. So really the choices are up to all of you. Do you have any questions about Hootsuite? Comment those questions below. Or are you interested in a review of another product or tool? Let me know with a comment and I will review it for you. And if you're interested in reviews like this at all, check out my other reviews just like this one. And that's it for this week. Next week I'm going to discuss Grammarly, the online writing assistant that will keep your content free of spelling and grammar mistakes. Yeah, you know, the one you keep seeing commercials and ads about. So be sure to, so, <laughs> to subscribe and click that bell icon so you will be notified when the next awesome video comes out that may help you in your daily life and business. But you don't have to wait until next week because with all of my content on gbrlife.com and the clothing line that can keep you comfortable and fashionable every day called Mama Koala, you don't have to be without GBR Life in your life.